Jacksonville organization serves as the local preliminary to Miss America, which is the nation's largest provider of scholarships for women. So let's welcome Miss Jacksonville 2024, Jada. We have Miss River City 2024, Macy, and Miss Jacksonville's Team 2024, Kenley, to tell us more about it. Thank you so much for joining us, and you look so beautiful. Thank, Thank you for having us. Of course, having and congratulations. Thank you How so exciting. much. Okay, Jada, let's start with you. Tell us about your community service initiative. It's called Creative for a Cause. So Creative for a Cause was designed to serve the low-income communities of Florida for children to be able to learn anything under the arts. I've been working on this program for about three years, and I've recently partnered with WJRC, which is another nonprofit organization, which gives me the opportunity to be able to have space and venue for to hold all of my events. Oh, that's wonderful. So let's ask you, Macy, now you're involved with foster care. Yes. So how did that come to be, and why is that so important to you? Yeah, so my CSI is entitled Fostering Hope, an effort to support aged out foster youth. And this all started when my family and I became a foster and adoptive family. Aww. And so through our many years of fostering, we saw lots of youth age out of the foster care system. And so me and my family created our 501c3 nonprofit, Foster Youth Aww. of America, yeah. where we work to support aged out foster youth when they age out of the system. Yeah, and uh, just hard. in the one month that I've been reigning, I've been grateful to already be partnering with Daniel's Kids, Fostering Connections, and Foster Closet as well. Oh, so wonderful. I'm super excited about partnerships with them this yeah. coming year. And yeah. We've had Fostering Connections on the show before as well. Uh, Kinley, how long have you been involved with the Miss America organization? Well, actually, the Miss Florida program has a program called uh, Sunshine Little Sisters, okay. which is a mentoring program for title holders to go out with a girl from 4 to 12. And Aww. actually, I started being a princess when I was, uh, sorry, little sister when I was 4. Oh, my gosh. So so this I've has been, been like your whole life. <laughs> yes. Oh, my gosh. So I've been with the Miss America organization set for eight years now. Her wow. Actually, it's a decade now. Oh <laughs> my gosh, that's so, yeah, that's so exciting. And then uh, we have this coloring book here that you've created, right? Tell us about that. Well, when I was six, I was diagnosed with dyslexia and I had a teacher tell me that I would never be a good student just because I couldn't learn the same way as other kids. Wow. And I created my coloring book, These for Dyslexia, to help um, not only little um, kids, but parents to understand dyslexia more right. and realize that it's not something to be ashamed of, mm -hmm. but something to be mm -hmm. proud of. Right. Well, mm -hmm. I, I hate to hear, too, that some teachers will say things like that. Like, yeah. that's, come on, you got to empower your students. So I'm mm -hmm. glad you were able to take that and say, uh-uh, I'm going to, and look at you <laughs> now, right? I wish you could go back to that teacher and say, look at me now. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, Jada, what does this year mean for you now that you are Miss Jacksonville 2024? It is such an honor to be Miss Jacksonville. I was actually born and raised in the oh, city yay, of Jacksonville, perfect. Florida. So this title really means a lot to represent my city, to go on to the state of Miss Florida and have an option to pursue that crown is just super amazing. I'm awesome to connect with my city and now have the title officially to make more connections. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. And how has it been for you so far? I know you said you've been, you know, with the different organizations already in just the one month, but what can we look forward to with you? Yeah, it's been an amazing experience so far. And in my Miss Jacksonville interview, I talked about how this is more than just a ticket to Miss Florida for me. It's an opportunity to really use the platform that Miss America provides for young women like us to really champion change in the community. So I'm excited to really be, be able to do that alongside my sister queens this year and um, also be able to represent Jacksonville at Miss Florida this summer. Beautifully said. And the website where we can get more info? Um, MissJacksonville.org. All right, easy yes. enough. Thank you all so much for joining us today, and congratulations Thank on you. all your success. Thank and good you luck so in the future, much. too. Can't Thank wait to you. hear what else we've got going on. <laughs>